In this exercise, we're going to take a look at ProEngineer's functionality when importing an iGIS file. iGIS files are a neutral file format used in industry so that uh, companies can communicate, even though they have different CAD systems, they could bring files in that are three-dimensional or even two-dimensional in this case um, with, uh, with relative ease. Sometimes when that happens though, when you try to import a file from a different CAD system as an iGIS file, it can come in and it can have missing gaps and sections of the model that have to be repaired in order to make a three-dimensional watertight solid from it. Otherwise it's just a collection of surfaces that really might not help you out a whole lot. So if we take a look here, we're going to go ahead and open up this file. I'm going to go to File Open and I'm going to go and take a look under the W drive, AutoCAD classes, Sakura and we'll find under Pro-E and CAD 111 Advanced Pro-E Fun. Under Sample Files, go to Exercise 22, and then down below here, Change Files of Type and Locate IGES File, I-G-E-S. Then you'll see it illuminated here. You could go ahead and select it and hit Open. We want to import it into a PAR file. So make sure part is selected and hit OK. When it comes in, you'll get a, an information window that you could just pass by. Don't really have to look at it necessarily unless you want to see what it's comprised of. But we can see here that it's a, it looks like a solid. If you ever want to test to see if something is a solid when you import it, you could go to Models, Analysis Model, and do a Mass Properties check. With the Mass Properties toolbar, you could just do a little, hit the little eyeglasses in the lower left, and if everything comes out to zero, especially for mass, that's an indication that it's a, just a collection of surfaces and not watertight. So we, in order to make uh, use of this model, we have to make it into a true solid. And here's how. Right-click on the Import feature, and then go to Edit Definition. On the right-hand side, you should see this little red cross, Import Data Doctor. Select it. Now there's three options up in the upper right that generally appear. There's a needle and thread, which is repair. There's modify and featureize. We want to go to repair, the needle and thread. And then down below here are the options. We're just looking for the needle and thread, which is repair. Select it. and it might take a moment, but then you'll get a preview. And what you're seeing there is actually all the little edges that it's detected and that it's trying to repair. Let's hit the green check mark to apply it. And another thing you could do is you could go to View, go to Display Settings, and under Model Display, make sure you set up shading, the quality to the highest with, with, with edges, and make sure Smooth Lines is turned on and Edge Quality is set to very high. With this option on, now you can see in like a pinkish color the actual geometry where there's openings and gaps that might need to be repaired. We can see one there and then over here too. So let's go ahead and fix those. We'll hit the, um, actually we'll go over here to the next option uh, which is uh, Featureize. And with Featureize you'll see actually a tool here for patching. And so we can zoom up to the, the geometry, go to the boundary blended surface, and then click on curves. The first direction, you just hold control and select two edges across from each other. And you'll see it's actually creating a surface. The second direction allows you to select the edges along the perpendicular sides. And hit done, and it's now created a patch. Just go through and patch the three holes that you detect using the same tool. Curve, first direction, the two there, and the second direction, the other two. Hit done, and now get this one. Make sure you hold control. 
Okay, and that should be it. Hit the Done tool, and you could hit Done one more time. And now we could check if we have a solid. What you'll find in our mass properties is that it is not. It's just a collection of surfaces still. So let's go back and right click on that Edit feature. Now there's two things you could do. You could export this right now as an iGES again and re-import it. And a lot of times it will just stitch it back together and make a true solid out of it now that there's patches in there. Otherwise, you could edit the definition and attempt to go back to the data doctor. And then on the left hand side, while you're in the data doctor, you'll see that there's three surfaces plus the component surface, which is a collection. What we want to do is merge those or combine them. So we could hold control and select all the surfaces or hold shift select the top and the bottom to group select everything. And now if you right mouse button click, you'll see combine. And now you have a combination of everything. Now you could hit done for the data doctor, done again. And while it's still all selected in red, otherwise you could click on it here in the feature tree. As long as it's selected, you can now go to edit and you should get a solidify option. Click on solidify and hit the green check mark to apply and now take a look. If you go to an Analysis, Model, Mass Properties, take a look and you should have a mass of 2.47. And that's it.